Hello little mortals and welcome to uh next episode of Minecraft. Now I do I have sad news. Uh Skippy the donkey was getting very upset. He's been alone, kept trying to break out, so I got him a girlfriend and uh decided to put them in a pen together. I thought I'd bring Frodo with me. That's what we called the dog. Uh, everything was fine. There was, there was nothing, nothing, nothing. <clears throat> then, then, uh, Frodo killed Skippy's girlfriend. And you know what? I was never keen on that dog. I was never keen on that dog. There was something about him. I wasn't sure on him from the minute I got him. So I've relegated him to the top of the house and there he will remain on his own to contemplate what he did to poor Skippy's girlfriend. I also need to apologise because um, I may have got a little overzealous uh, in between recordings and done a lot of stuff but it's okay because we're going to start this episode showcasing what I have done. Now the first really big change that you're going to notice that's very obvious is I decorated my house. I decorated a single floor of my house actually. Uh, that is also another change. I will explain that a tiny bit later. But yes, we're standing on my bed currently. It is a triple bed because you know why not. Um, yeah, we have a painting. It's not, for those of you who play lots of there's nothing secret behind here. Like it's literally just a painting on the wall with some glow -lichen. I made um oh yeah sorry <laughs> you're probably thinking this looks incredible everything is swinging mine doesn't I have installed Optifine and uh I think it was BPS shaders which is why everything looks a lot more beautiful but yeah we have my bed I added the banners on here because I thought it looked really cool um almost like drapes at the edge of a four post bed which I thought was nice and then in here is an armor stand and we have our armor stands um I also have under here barrels for my equipment there is a system to this because I've got my enchanted weapons my uh an equipment, regular weapons, and then I have diamond stuff. Other than my shaders, this is all vanilla, so you guys can do all this yourself. It's just the way it looks, not the blocks. That's just a spruce sapling inside a plant pot. Everything's been organised. I made a loom because I made some flags. And I have removed all of the blue lanterns you've probably noticed. I love the soul lanterns, I love the soul torches, I'm not a big fan of regular torches at all but unfortunately they don't give off a lot of light and I didn't want to have regular torches so I just got lanterns instead. This is our new dog, this is our new dog. Um, I think I'm gonna call him Roman. Fun fact about this dog, you know I went trekking for like a whole day across the land to get a dog? Yeah, I got him just there. You see that tree line? Just there? That's where I got him from. He was right there. Darn it. Uh, this shader changes the water as well. I actually think I kind of preferred... I would prefer the water if it wasn't so dark. It would look nicer if it was a bit lighter. There's my fish! But, um... <clears throat> We're going to be putting sea pickles in here eventually anyway when we find some, so... But yeah, uh, I made my waterfall. I have just changed my game mode to creative because I wanted to show you the moon. And it is very big, and when you look at it from the ground, it looks misshapen and odd. So, with creative mode, we can fly. So that's what I did. Now, you're probably thinking, you obviously built this in creative mode. Yes and no, you would be right and wrong. On creative mode... We, this is what it looks like for those of you who have never used it. You can cycle through the blocks so you can just type in what you want. I want chiseled blackstone, so I'm going to take that, and I also want some glass paints. I think there's a way you can click on the block that you want if it's already placed and then you can get it, but I've tried that a few times and I just kind of end up 
destroying things. So I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works. Uh, where was it that I needed to put this now? So there's one, then a two, then a two, then a three. I oh, know, it's fine. It's fine. The glass definitely needs sorting though. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I tried to be clever with this, okay? I tried to be clever and build it on an angle because I thought, that'll be cool. That'll be awesome. And it does. It does look awesome that it's on an angle. It's kind of facing this way instead of facing the house, facing that way. However, building a circle on Minecraft is one thing. Building a diagonal circle on Minecraft? Yeah. Let's just not. But I did it. And I everything that's in Blackstone, everything Blackstone, I actually did in survival mode because I had a crap ton of Blackstone from mining. But because I don't want to travel too far out and I haven't come across beach and because it was a bitch to keep climbing up and down and up and down, I just went into creative mode because I can fly and I could give myself the glass panes and all that kind of stuff. So on the front, we have glass, white glass panes all the way around. And then if we go round, oh, look how beautiful that is. You see those light rays? But yeah, if you look at it from the back, you can really see it that it's actually a crescent moon. And this is going to be my inn. You remember I told you guys I want to make an inn? This is going to be my inn. As you can see, we have 11 bookshelves. Um, we need 15. I believe it is 15 bookshelves. It gives you the maximum level of enchanting you can do. So we need 11 bookshelves. Um, I think I can do that. I have the. I need the books. I need the books. The books. Where are the books? I did have books. I don't know where the books are gone now. I have so few. Is that really all the leather that all those cows brought? Because that doesn't seem right. But it might be enough just to make three more bookshelves. I think. Now I need to make an enchanting table. I have a couple of pieces of obsidian and I have plenty of diamonds. <coughs> I need four obsidian and a book. Boom! An enchanting table. I'm pretty sure I can mine the enchanting table with a regular pickaxe. Hope so. Here. Skittering. Like spiders be crawling. I put some drips down there or something. I don't know what that was. Maybe it's just the candles. Probably. So I earmarked this room for the enchanting room. And what I have to do is put... I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to take these up. Is I have to put... 15 around and there has to be a space between each one and the enchanting table so I think I may have done this perfectly I think uh, this is a chest of stuff that I believe is used in either the enchanting or the alchemy it's one or the other so there has to be a space between so I feel like that would be too far. I mean, no. Maybe not. Still have five left. I don't really want to block the doorway if I can help it. Maybe, oh, this isn't going to give me a bookcase, is it? It's going to give me a fucking book. That's what I'm after. Do 
Should have enough to make a bookcase. Okay. So I put the enchanting table there. <gasps> Look at it. They're all going in. It's working! I don't like this. This is not even and that bugs me. Maybe I should just block that window. Maybe I should just do that. I put one more either side and the one at the top. Because that one doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, but I don't think these are doing anything either because I think they're too high. It only seems to be coming from these ones. I've built it. I put a little pot in. We can still keep these doors, which I like. Okay, we get down from there. You're going to die. So sparse. I've picked this area for my village for that reason. I'm a little gutted. Like, I could probably put little plants or something here. Like, little secret things. Maybe with a school if I ever get any. So that, like, it's all like, oh, it's just bookshelves. And then you look and you're like, <gasps> Maybe like a dragon egg or something. Did she kill the dragon? Anyway, <laughs> I digress. This is so cool. This is my little this is my little wizard's tower. My little potted plant for a bit of decoration. I'm probably gonna put some glow berries in here as well on the corners just for a bit more decoration when I get some. And then my chest here. I think some of this is for alchemy, like I said. I'm sure some of this is like you have to have the brewing stand. Um, I know these are just like golden apples and stuff because then I can enchant them. By the way, I might take that out and see what I can enchant that with actually. Um, but yeah, I bought my lapis up as well because obviously it just makes sense to have my lapis up here. And I'm interested to see what I can get on things. Unbreaking 1, Efficiency 2. I mean, I don't know if I really want to waste it on that. Is it the same for this pickaxe? Yeah. Uh, what about the axe? I'm breaking one. If it, is it going to be the same for all of this? <laughs> I've never seen someone put a shovel in here before. I'm interested. Okay, so there's really not much. The golden apple. Can I not enchant a golden apple? Is that I could enchant a golden apple? Or are there just currently no enchantments for it? Can you enchant a shield? Nope. Okay. Okay. Okay, so today what I'm going to do, because I'm interested to see, is I'm actually going to get a book. I want to put a book in there and see what it has for books, because I have waited so long for enchanting and to like be ready to have enchantment stuff, and now I have it, and it's a bit poop. Power one. Feather Falling 2. They're all a bit naff-like. What is it? Naff. Yeah, I don't feel like it's worth it at the minute. I don't feel like it's worth it to enchant anything, so I'm not going to. But at least my enchanting room is kind of done. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me with this shit? Are you kidding me with the shit? <sighs> Was that about it? It's about right, right? <laughs> right, 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 right? Creepers, dog. Hate them. Big pain in the ass. Right. I tried to run. As soon as I heard it, I tried to run, but it just, no, it just didn't happen. So, welcome to my little island of diamonds, as I'm going to call it. Now, last time I did this, I did not have the shader mod, so the water all looking so much prettier than last time. But anyway... There is a bed here, and a chest, some lights, things that I left on purpose for good reasons. So, <clears throat> this is my diamond trick. 
So the first thing we need to do is we need to find some clay. This is a swamp biome, by the way. So we want to find a swamp biome and we want to find the middle of the clay patch. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. So here is the middle of the clay patch. I'm just going to dig that out so I know. Now I know from what I did last time that that way is south. But we're going to F3 and G which brings up the borders for the chunk. These are your chunk borders. There are so many blocks to a chunk. Don't ask me how many because I don't know. I think it's 16. And when I bring up F3, we need to be facing south. So you can see that we're facing south. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to dig on the third one. Okay. Now... Right now, you have to do it exactly this way. And this is on Minecraft Java 17.1. So whether this will work... An 18, I don't know, and don't believe it works in bedrock. No, don't worry. Oh, the torch actually lights things up whilst it's in your hand now. Because I always thought that was really weird. That you would have a torch in your hand and it wouldn't be casting any light. It was very odd to me. Now, most people dig straight down on that block. I think that's ridiculously stupid because you will fall and die into lava, maybe. And I There it is, the diamond. I'm gonna go across a little. I don't know how big this vein will be. It doesn't look very, oh no. Oh no, it's all right. It's like in the bedrock, so I'm trying to Dig around it a little bit. I always like to just dig around so you can get a real feel for how... Oh no! For how far it is. See, there's some more that I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Any, any more, any more. It's, it's in the bedrock. Maybe we need to have dirt this far down. But what can you do? Oh, all of my freaking pickaxes broke. And luckily, I had brought my diamond pickaxe with me. So I was able to use that because otherwise, I'd have been very annoyed. An 87% chance of finding diamonds if you do this. But as you can see, it's been a profitable journey. If you do it the way I do it, so you've always got something to stand on, so you know that you know you're not about to fall into lava, you have to be careful. But Look at all the resources I got and I didn't have to go digging through caves and like mining for hours and hours. That'll be it for today's episode everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and that you will join us again for our next episode. I'm kind of promise, kind of promise that I won't get too much done again next time before you guys can help again.